finally the highest time frame we are analyzing here and this is the monthly chart and on the monthly chart we are going to look at support and resistance based on it uh, and, uh, and moving forward we're going to, to use to see how to use binary options to trade this monthly time frame again we'll do the introduction because this is very important regardless uh, regardless what uh, what binary options you are trading so whenever trading binary options the main concern a trader has is to look for the best possible setup for the binary option to expire in the money if the option is in the money at the expiration date th it, uh, in the money at the expiration date so this means the option is profitable and the trade was successful now buying calls implies a trader so buying calls implies a trader is looking for price to increase so whenever you buy calls you are looking for price to go higher and therefore by the time the option expires it means that the actual price should be higher than the striking price and there you go your option would be profitable but if you buy on the other on the other hand if you buy puts there you go you are looking for the option and for the price to uh, to be profitable for the for the for the option to be profitable you are looking for price to go to the downside and to be lower than the striking price based on the above the expiration date is important when trading binary options and based on the time frame analyzed different binary options can be traded depending on the expiration date the monthly chart that you see in front of your eyes is for the euro dollar of course and this monthly chart on the euro dollar is um, is the maximum time frame offered and this is a long term interpretation of market behavior if the same areas like on the weekly time frame should be considered as support and resistance for price based on Ichimoku however the expiration date for the option you are looking to uh, to trade should be no less than one week or uh, a couple of a couple of days depending of the moment of time during the month and during the week price is reaching that area for example if price is reaching like it was the case like it was the case here if, if you see the kinjun has a value of 132.96 and the highs for this candle is the highs for the candle is 132.81 so it depends very much this is a wednesday if we are reaching 132.96 on a on a thursday or on a friday then uh, going for short term time frames expiration date in uh, engaging in buying puts would be a nice uh, a nice way to go for short term expiration date but if you are looking for on a monthly chart for example and uh, normally at such um, at such test testing on kinjun or tenkan you should look for expiration dates that should go for higher um, for higher um, for longer period of time that would mean at least one week or um, or a couple of weeks expiration date so therefore the following can be used of course whenever price is touching the tenkan or whenever price is touching the kinjun let's try to see a couple of examples here so this is a bullish market this is a bullish market and whenever price is coming and touches the tenkan see here by the time the bullish market is established right here so whenever price is coming and touches the um, the tenkan first on the monthly chart you are looking to engage in buying short term calls because this is a bullish market so that would be one area and then it is touching the thing the king june that would be one area as well price breaks again to the upside comes and touches the tenkan so all the touches the, the all the moment the tenkan is being touched or the king june is being touched is an appropriate moment to go and buy calls in a bullish market or buy puts in a bearish market all these moments in a bearish market for example on the monthly chart and this can be extrapolated to and extended to any currency pair 
on a beverage market like like it is this one you are looking to engage in buying puts whenever tenkan or kinjun is being touched for the first uh, for the first time in a bearish market here here for example or yet another yet another call would be here and so on and so forth i think you got the picture it is not that difficult to understand this is based on uh, this is based on tenkan and kinjun on the monthly chart and of course we can also treat the chinko whenever chinko touches the cloud ideally the base of the cloud is the market is trending to the upside or the top of the cloud is the market is in the downtrend and of course whenever chinko is meeting the candles in front of it for example chinko is meeting here the candles in front of it and that would be a nice area to engage into buying puts right there even if this is a monthly chart you buy puts with a bigger with a bigger expiration date that you are then you are trading uh, than if you are trading um, medium time frames or shorten time frames but the outcome should be the same 26 periods ahead and that would be your uh, your buying and there you go you have the expiration for uh, for that kind of a trade now stay tuned we are going to have the last um, the last time frame here monthly chart and we'll see what kind of a binary options to buy based on the monthly chart remember